Hello kids! This is Teacher Phil for Culture Resort School's English Online Class. I'm so excited to be teaching you all today and I hope that you are excited to be learning as well. I'll try to make our class as fun as possible but I want you to stay with me up until the end of the video. Is that okay? Well then, let's go! Our lesson for today is all about school items that are examples of nouns. And we will also be learning about singular form of nouns, plural form of nouns, what is this or that, what are these and those. But before we proceed, I want you to open your Let's Go books on page 5. Come on, I'm waiting. Are you ready? Let's go, let's begin. Noun is the name of a person, a place, a thing, an event, or an idea. Let's read it one more time, okay? Repeat after me. Say a noun. Oh, I can't hear you. Come on, say it louder. A noun is the name of a person. Very good. A place, a thing, an event. or an idea. Very good. Now that you know the definition of the term noun, let's learn the vocabulary words I have prepared for you. Is that okay? All right, but we will be focusing on the singular form of nouns. Can you say singular? Very good. When we say singular noun, it means to say that it names only one person, one place, one thing, one event, or one idea. Let's repeat. Say singular noun. Names only one person. Very good. Place. Thing. Event. Or idea. Very good. Now that you know the meaning of singular nouns, let's proceed to the vocabulary words I have prepared for you, okay? All right, for the first one, say, a picture. Very good. How many pictures do you see? Very good, there's only one. So we say, a picture. Very good. The next one is a window. Come on, say it louder. A window. Well done. The next one is a sharpener. Say it a bit louder and clearer. Say a sharpener. Very good. Now let's say it faster. A sharpener. Impressive. The next one is a workbook. Good job, but I want you to say it once more. A workbook.
Nice, very good. What's the next one? A paper clip. Come on, say it louder. A paper clip. Nice, very good. How about the next one? A clock. Come on, say it one more time. A clock. Very good. What's the next one? Say, a door. Very good. But I want you to say it once more. A door. Well done. What's the last one? Say, a calendar. Very good. Say it once more. A calendar. Very good. Now that we have finished studying the vocabulary words I have prepared for you, Let's try to make sentences. Can you say sentences? Very good. We'll make sentences using the vocabulary words and by answering the questions, what is this? Say it once more. What is this? Good job. And what is that? Say it one more time. What is that? Very good. Now, let's see the difference of what is this and what is that. What is this? is used when you are holding the object or when it is close to you. Look at the picture. The boy is holding the apple. So, we are going to use, what is this? Very good. How about, what is that? Look at the boy and the apple. We use what is that when the object is far from you. Very good. Look at the boy and the apple. The boy is pointing to the apple because it is far from him. Therefore, we are going to use that. All right, for you to better understand, let's try to answer what is this first, okay? All right. What is this? Very good. And our answer would be, it is a picture. Very good. Say it once more. It is a picture. Very good. The next one. What is this? And our answer would be, it is a window. Well done. What is this? this. Say it louder. I can't hear you. Say, it is a sharpener. Very good. What is this? And our answer would be, it is a workbook.
Very nice. The next one, what is this? And our answer would be, it is a paper clip. Well done, but I want you to say it clearer. It is a paper clip. Well done. How about this one? What is this? All right, let's answer it all together. It is a clock. Say it one more time. It is a clock. Very good. How about the next one? What is this? And our answer would be, it is a door. Very good. How about the last one? What is this? Say it louder, come on. It's a calendar. Very good. Now that we know how to answer what is this, let's try to answer what is that? Are you ready? All right, let's start. Look at the picture. The boy is pointing to the picture. Therefore, we ask, what is that? Can you say it louder? What is that? Very good. And the answer would be, that is a picture. Good job. The next one, look at the boy. He's pointing at the object. Let's see. What is that? All right. And our answer would be, that is a window. Good job. The next one, what is that? Come on, say it louder. What is that? And our answer will be, that is a sharpener. Well done. How about this? What is that? And our answer would be, that is a workbook. Very nice. How about the next one? What is that? And the answer is, that is a paper clip. Nice one. The boy is asking again, what is that? Very good. And the answer is, that is a clock. Nice. Good job. How about the next one? The boy is asking, what is that? Very good. That is a door. Very good. How about this one? What 
is that? Very good. That is a calendar. Very good. Good job. Now that you have learned and you already know the singular form of nouns, let's proceed to the plural form of nouns. Can you say plural? Very good. Let's find out what a plural noun is. A plural noun names two or more persons, places, things, events, or ideas. All right, let's read it once more, but I want you to read it after me, okay? Say a plural noun. Very good. Names two or more. Persons. Places. Things. Events. Or ideas. Very well. Now that you know the definition of plural noun, let's proceed to the vocabulary words I have prepared for you. All right. The first one is pictures. Say it louder. Come on. Pictures. Very good. How many pictures are there? Let's count. One two, three. All right, there are three, so it is plural. Very good. The next one is windows. Let's count. One, two. There are two windows. They are plural. Very good. The next one, sharpeners. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are four sharpeners. Very good. Can you say sharpeners? Well done. The next one is workbook. All right, let's see how many. One, two, three. Three workbooks. Therefore, it is very good. It's plural. Very good. How about the next one? Paper clips. Very good. Let's count how many paper clips. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six paper clips. Therefore, it is. Hooray! Plural. Say it one more time. Plural. Very good. How about the next one? What's this? Say clocks. Very good. Say it one more time. Clocks. Very good. Let's count how many clocks. One, two. There are two clocks. Therefore, it is plural. Very good. The next one. Doors. Let's count. One, two. There are two doors. Therefore, they are 
plural good job and the last one is calendars very good let's count one two there are two calendars and they are say it louder very good plural very good now that you already know the plural form of nouns let's proceed to making sentences by answering the questions what are these or what are those all right what are these and what are those are used in the plural form of nouns did you get it very good let's try for you to better understand what are these all right look at the picture what are these are used when you are holding the objects or when they are close to you. Look at the picture. The boy is holding the basket of apples. Therefore, we ask, what are these? Well done. The next one is, what are those? What are those are used when the objects are far from you? Look at the boy pointing to the apples. The apples are far from him. Therefore, we say, what are those? Very good. Now that you know the difference of the two, let's proceed to making sentences. What are these? Say it one more time. What are these? Very good. And we can answer it with they are pictures. Very good. The next one, what are these? Say it one more time, what are these? Very good, and our answer would be, they are windows. Very good. The next what are these? Say it once more. What are these? Very good. And the answer is, they are sharpeners. Good job. The next object, what are these? Very good. They are workbooks. Very good. Now, I'm going to ask you the question, what are these? And you will answer me, okay? All right. What are these? Oh, I can't hear you. What's the answer? What are these? Let's see if you are correct. Oh, they are paper clips. Well done. How about this? What are these? Oh, say it louder. Come on. What are these? Oh, let's find out. 
They are clocks. Very good. How about the next? What are these? Say it once more. What are these? Are you correct? Let's find out. They are doors. Did you get it? All right. For the last one, I want you to answer me as loud as you can. What are these? I can't hear you. Say it once more, please. What are these? Let's see if you get it. <gasps> they are calendars. Very good. Now that you know how to answer what are these, Let's proceed to what are those? Look at the picture. The boy is pointing to the pictures. And we ask, what are those? Say it once more. What are those? Very good. And our answer would be, those are pictures. Very good. Let's proceed to the next example. What are those? Say it once more. What are those? Very good. And the answer is, those are windows. Very good. Say it louder. Those are windows. Very good. Now, let's proceed to the next object. What are those? I know you know this. All right. Our answer would be, those are sharpeners. Very good. The next object, what are those? Very good. Our answer would be, those are workbooks. Very good. Now, I will be asking you the question, what are those? And you are going to answer me, okay? Let's try. What are those? Come on, say it louder. What are those? All right. Let's see if you are correct. Our answer? Those are paper clips. Did you get it? Very good. How about, what are those? I can't hear you. Say it one more time. All right. Those are clocks. Did you get it? Very good. What are those? I can't hear you. Say it once more. What are those? Let's find out the answer. Those are doors. Did you get it? All right. Then say it once more. Those are doors. Very good. And for the last one, what are those?
Say it loud and clear, please. What are those? Do you think you are correct? Let's find out. Those are calendars. Did you get it? Very good. Let's say it once more. Those are calendars. Very good. Well done. Now that we have already learned or finished the lessons I have prepared for you, let's try to answer the questions I have prepared for you. I want to know if you really listen to Teacher Phil. Now, I want you to get your notebooks and pencils. Do it as fast as you can. I'll be counting from 1 to 10. Is that okay? All right. 1, 2, 3, go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Are you ready? All right. Let's start. For question number one, what are those? A. Those are clocks. Or B. Those are sharpeners. Shout your answers. Come on. Is it A or B? Let's find out if you are correct. The answer is A. Those are clocks. Now I want you to write this down on your notebook. What are those? Those are clocks. Very good. Now let's proceed to question number two. What are these? A. They are doors. B. They are calendars. I'll repeat the question. What are these? A. They are doors. B. They are calendars. What's your answer? Alright, let's find out if you are correct. The correct answer is... Oh, it's letter B. Did you get it? All right. Now, write this down on your notebook. What are these? They are calendars. Come on, do it faster. Finished? Very good. Let's proceed. Question number three. What is that? A. It's a sharpener. B. It's a window. I'll repeat. What is that? A. It's a sharpener. Or B. It's a window. All right. Let's find out if you are correct. The answer is... Oh, it's letter A. It's a sharpener. Now, write this down once again. What is that? It's a sharpener. Very good. Let's proceed to the next question. What is this? A. It's a calendar. B. It's a workbook. I'll repeat the question. What is this? A. It's a calendar. B. It's a workbook. Let's find out if your answer is correct. The answer is, oh, it's letter B. It's a workbook. Now, I want you to write this down. 
what is this? It's a workbook. Come on, do it fast. Finished? Very good. For the last one, what are those? A. Those are doors. B. Those are windows. What's your answer? Say it louder because this is the last one. All right, let's find out. The answer is A. Those are doors. Now, write this down. What are those? Those are doors. Very good. Fantastic. Very good. All right. So today we have learned about nouns. And a noun is a name of a person, a place, a thing, an event, or an idea. Now, let's read it once more, okay? I want you to repeat after me, okay? Say a noun is the name of a person, a place, very good, a thing, very good, an event, or an idea, very good. And we have also learned about this and that. We use this and that when the noun is singular. Say singular. Very good. This when you are holding the object. Or that when it is far from you. Did you get it? All right, we have also learned about these and those. We use these and those when the noun is plural. Can you say plural? Very good. We use these when we are holding the objects. And we use those when the objects are far from us. Look at the picture. Alright, I hope you have learned something today. And for your homework, I want you to answer your Let's Go workbook on page 6. Again, for your homework, answer your Let's Go workbook on page 6. I'll check it. Alright. This has been Teacher Phil for Closer Research Schools English Online Class. Thank you for listening and see you soon. Bye-bye!